All right, continuing 8.4 with logs. Now we're on graphing logs. And you know how I just told you how to rewrite them in the last one to solve? Well, you can't graph these unless you rewrite them. And this is what I mean. You, to graph this, you need to write this as log x over log 5. That's the only way you can graph that on your calculator. So when you're going to graph this, go to y equals, right? Go to y equals and clear all that out and press the log button so it's log x so then end parentheses so when you type it in you should type it in at log parentheses x parentheses divided by log parentheses 5 parentheses is how you should type that in and press graph and when you press graph you end up getting something that looks like this right so Let's take a look at this. Go to second graph and see what the points are. Notice at negative 2 you get error. And at negative 1 you get error. And at 0 you get error. That means no points exist there. But at 1 you get 0. And at 2 you get 0.43. And at 3 you get 0.68. And at 4 you get about uh, 0.86. And at 5, you get 1. And at 6, you get 1.1. So the point is, um, I can go over 1 and up nothing. I can go over 2 and up 0.43. Over 3 and up 0.68. Over 4 and up 0.86. Over 5 and up 1. Over 6 and up there. And the point is, it never quite touches... Um, zero and goes past it. Well guess what? Know how in the other ones exponential functions we had um, asymptotes that were horizontal? Well now we have asymptotes that are vertical. So this asymptote is at x equals zero. That's where that asymptote is at. So this next one, natural log. To graph natural log is actually pretty simple. You go to um, y equals, and natural log is the button right beside the 4. So clear everything out, and you would just do natural log x in parentheses. So it would be ln parentheses x parentheses, and then plus 4. And you press graph, and that one looks like this. That one looks like that. So when we take a look, second graph, um, if you notice here, um, once again, we have errors all over the place. The first time you see a number is at 1. 1, 4 works. 2, 4.6 works. Um, 3, 5.09 works. 4, 5.3 works. Um, 5.6 works so we get the rough idea right so let's see how the graph looks 1 1 2 3 4 um, 2 4.6 3 5 point whatever there's 0 oh, 9 4 is 5.3 and 5 is 5.6 the point is it's just kind of gradually going up. But once again, the horizontal asymptote here is right there at x equals 0. Okay, so before, this number signified right here the asymptote, but it does not in logs. It's not where the asymptote is. Okay, so keep that in mind when you're doing these. And so we're going to take a look now at the natural log of x plus 2 in parentheses. So go to y equals and type in now the natural log of x plus 2 in parentheses. When you go to graph that one, when we go to graph that one, now I get this. Something that kind of looks like this. So let's take a look at the points. If I go to second graph and take a look at the points, Notice how now I have an error at negative 2, I have an error. Okay. Well, that means the asymptote is at x equals negative 2. So to find the vertical asymptotes for logs, 
it's whatever makes this 0 in here. Negative 2 plus 2 makes it 0, which is why negative 2 is where the vertical asymptote is. So, when I go to plot these, I have 1 point at negative 1, 0, um, 0 0.69, 1, 1 1.09, uh, 2, 1.4, we'll just say, um, 3, 1.6, um, 4, 1.8. So when I go to graph these, it's negative 1, 0, 0 0.69. Uh, 1, 1.09, uh, 2, 1.4, 3, 1.6, 4, 1 1.8. So the point is it goes to negative 2 and it kind of keeps curling up there. And there's your graph of that. So there's the graphs of logs and there's some graphs of natural logs. And just remember um, now there's a vertical um, asymptote totes, right, vertical asymptotes um, when we're talking about logs. And remember when you rewrite something like this to graph it, right, if you wanted to graph that on your calculator you'd have to write log of x plus 5 over log of 4. So keep that in mind.